Hello all, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll have a quick look on how to deploy files to Azure Web App. Now Azure Web App has different deployment options wherein we can connect with different uh, different repositories like GitHub, Visual Studio, uh, Bitbucket and etc. to get our files deployed to an app service to end web app service so let's quickly go and uh, have a quick demo so let's go to portal.azure.com and quickly create a web app a simple web app and in this video we will use the deployment option as github so deploy files okay windows let's go with the default one and click on create so this will create a web app with name deploy files uh, it has uh, it will be under the resource group deploy files again the operating system will be windows so web app will provide and uh, deployment different deployment options you can you will go through it and we will try to connect it we will try how we will see how it is being deployed and how it how it uh, is being useful for our applications okay so now the web app is created and uh, we can see the url over here let's click on this okay so our web app is running fine so now it's time to deploy some files so i do have uh, my github repository over here and have created an um, repo with name deploy to azure wherein there is a simple uh, one index.html file uh, with a plain html saying with a title deploy to azure using github and um, body saying have zeal for being azure expert so what we will do is we will connect our Azure Web App with uh, my GitHub account and we'll see how to uh, like make this file get deployed over there and how we can use this. So go to the portal and select deployment options. It's over here. Now there are different ways you can deploy through FTP, you can deploy files through Visual Studio um, and so on. But there is one more option that is uh, which comes under this deployment option. You can just click on this. So these are the main repositories which are now at, at this at present it is being supported. That is Visual Studio Team Services, OneDrive, Local Git, GitHub, Bitbucket, Dropbox, external repositories. So what we need to do is we need to first create and uh, uh, we need to first authorize uh, our account, our repository account with uh, the Azure Web Portal so that they can communicate with each other and uh, can deploy or can perform the actions uh, as in where required. So let's click on GitHub as we need to get it connected. So I have already uh, authorized my account with GitHub. So it may. Uh, directly fetch the details and bring it uh, uh, displayed on the over here so i can as you can see my account name is uh, uh, kasam shake which has been written over here you can just click on this you can change on clicking change account uh, it will allow you with a new uh, it will prompt a window for allowing for providing the new uh, github account credentials and again it will ask for some um, authorized uh, for access uh, it will ask for some permission so that it could it could communicate with each other and that's it with fewer clicks uh, this will get authorized or this will get uh, added to your web app so as um, once the account is added you can see just click on choose project so this will list on all uh, the repositories into my uh, github account as you can see over here I do have uh, some three to four repositories and this is this all is being uh, listed over here so I can choose among this let's uh, select for this deploy to Azure as we need to deploy this file 
now once you select the project it will ask you uh, for selecting the branch if you have some different branches into your repo repo project or repo folder so it will list down all the branches over here so you can select among the branch which you need to get deployed so as it has only one branch or by default it will show a master master is a branch select it and click on ok so you saw we first authorized we selected the repository name we selected the branch that's it three steps so now you can see over here it is notifying as successfully set up the deployment resource or deployment source you can check the deployment again click it over here deployment options okay so it's saying update it's index .html, github active now let's go to our app and click hit refresh great so you can see the title is deployed to azure using github and um, with this body that have zeal for being azure expert so you saw how it is uh, with just uh, three or four clicks we added this repository and we deployed the files so now i will show you one more uh, cool uh, thing over here uh, let's go to this index.html and uh, edit it with something uh, with some change have a zeal uh, let's make it to hi i am running on cloud it's just to show you some changes like how it's easy to modify and again redeploy it so i had made some changes into index that file that is i am uh, running on cloud and here when i will commit these changes i will write something okay this is for demo i will click on commit changes now see once i committed these changes okay uh, for some reason it's not allowing me to uh, change uh, the, my github uh, file uh, but what i wanted to show was like you just made a change you write in um, a comment while committing the changes and once the change has been committed once you click on commit changes uh, the file get automatically deployed to the connected web app and uh, under this deployment option you can see that uh, uh, with along with the uh, timestamp and the file name which is being modified along with the uh, comments which you have added so you can track the changes or uh, you can uh track the deployments which is getting happening which is getting commented and everything with just few clicks so that is what uh, i just wanted to show you and it will directly get deployed to this so hope you have uh, uh enjoyed this video like you have learned something like how to get deployed and it, that's this files could be anything it could be your python application it could be your mvc application it could be your angular application uh yes of course it needs some configuration uh, at the web app end but yes for the deploying the things uh, this is a super cool feature which is being provided by azure app so do uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and share this happy azure coding